All right, here we are on the last night of the five in one challenge. Um, leaving the lights on while I start dishing up. I am gonna be doing protein, snow pops, complete, five leaf and mineral. The reason I'm leaving the lights on now is I am going to give five leaf a little bit of a head start. Because this one underperformed. I want to just get straight away started on it. Get everything to freaking sink. A lot of broken bits in the last bit of this five leaf. So, only five leaf in there, you see they start to attack it. They're hungry, it's the only thing in there, and they start going for it. I'm going to go ahead and kill the lights so we can see this better, actually. This is the final night of the showdown, and then the next lowest one I had was the snow pops. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with these, and this again also had a lot of broken crumbly bits in it too. So I'm going to try and get these to sink, just a little swirly swirl. Push, 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 poke, poke, poke. Get that going down. Hopefully. There we go. And there is the snow pops. Let me just do it with my other cut. Man, I have space to, oh, let me get this glass out of the way. You know, something I didn't notice until I pulled the cups out this morning and swirled up the sand. The cups are different sizes. I did not catch that when I was doing this. Okay, what do I do with that other cup? There it is. I'll just throw those down there for now. So, there we go with snow pops over here. Five leaf here. The other three were all really good. I think mineral was the best. That's why I put it off here to the far end on this side, because this is usually my slowest spot, usually. But they're gonna start scattering stuff pretty good with no dishes. So this is more of a real world test. So I'm gonna throw the others in now that I've got the attraction going on, the ones that are there. Now they've got some options. I'm not gonna start poking and prodding everything down. I'm just gonna get it all in there. And then I can work on the poke and prod once they all start. And we can see how they start jumping around and changing things up. I got some mixed spots because I already did that one. And you can see once we get another one in there, they really start to abandon the five leaf. There you go. Everything is in and going, and I forgot to turn off my winning machine. Let me do that. There we go, that's off. Sorry for that hum, I completely spaced on that. So this will be an interesting one because they're gonna be able to scatter everything this time. This is less controlled, final hurrah on this five in one packet, even though I'm gonna order almost everything else except the five leaf so I can do more testing. I probably should order five leaf, but I'll have it forever if I do. Then again, my Corys might go nuts for it. We'll see. All right, if I'm just looking at sheer volume and attack and the mineral off to the side, it's definitely slow. Complete, man. They are just going bonkers for it. Protein's doing pretty good. 
Snow Pops is actually doing pretty good too. Mineral's got a good clump on it, but being over on the slow side, changing up the results. I don't know, it's pretty dense on protein also, it just spread out now. The guys that don't like the fight are definitely going for a five leaf, but it looks like everybody's kind of making a, a beeline to the complete. It's just like a little wave going at it. And again, they're jumping everywhere, so hard to say. But it is looking really good, and they're doing very well. I'm going to go a little bit longer on this video tonight and do a good time lapse just because this is the final hurrah for this packet. Yeah, it's looking good. It really is coming right now. I don't know. Just because minerals off to the side and doesn't have the density of protein complete it's hard to say which one's performing better you know what uh, no we'll come back after the time lapse and you know a little bit into the time lapse I'll do my glass carton feed just to settle everything down because you can see the tanks going absolutely bonkers right now one of the busiest I've seen it honestly I think this side definitely is just like crazy crazy a little slower on this side, but yeah, the fight's the fight is on. All right, right now I definitely say protein is winning. That's just a huge mass, but at the same time, complete has a denser mass on it. But there was more powder bits with the protein. So they can grab it and scramble a little bit. And, yeah. Five leaf. At least somebody's eating it. It's just not being straight up ignored, but yeah, it doesn't look very good. Snow Pops is doing alright because it's between the two. Mineral's getting a nice tight ball on it, but nowhere near the fight like the others. Man, that's just nuts. Alright, anyways. This will be much more entertaining with the time lapse. Let me wrap it here. I'm going to immediately start the time lapse. I'll be back after the time lapse, guys.
and we're back I did two time lapses in that one I did a full tank and during that time I did a glass garden feed over on this side and then a little bit later I did some shrimp king baby over on this side on the far left feeding tube um, you can see they're dragging everything all over the beach let me just pull in tight for this that they're scattering the food this one is the protein you can see it's scattered all over and they're doing pretty well on it this is where the snow pops are you can see oh it's really hard to see hopefully it shows up good on the video that it's kind of floating around there's little chunks of it everywhere um, there's even some in the very back over there uh, a little bit over here and this is where we have the complete I hope I said protein on the first one I might have said that wrong sorry if I did first one was protein snow pops then complete um, you can see they're going nuts for it pulling it all over there's some right there and here is the five leaf mix doing poorly I mean they're eating it but it's just it underperforms it's scattered a little bit over here there's a piece there and then we get over here sorry I had to jump over my foot to the mineral and the mineral is doing really well and I fed heavily over on this side with um, all the bacteria E so all throughout here the batteries I mean it gets everywhere in the tank but it was a little bit heavier on this side and you can see how well that's doing so yeah it's the mineral which I think was the best of them I mean they've drug it over into the corner too um, isn't performing as well on this end of the tank this end of my tank slower this is my hot spot and you can see that's doing the best there with the complete again snow pops and protein so protein was outperforming no second performing they were both very close but you can see the complete definitely has a bigger but protein's doing well and you can see they polished off all the shrimp baby already that goes pretty fast it doesn't last very long you can see all the guys back there on my filter guys back in the wood I got guys everywhere in this tank I will be pulling out a good amount of that um, Christmas moss I want to get some put in my other tanks um, and I'm also gonna start pulling out some water lettuce I've got too much it's just getting dark again but yeah, you can see this is doing really well. Let me see if I'm centered. Shooting in the dark. Okay, close enough. Eep. Stupid ball head boot. There we go. But it's doing really, really well. I'm really happy with this, minus the five leaf mix. I'm hoping that they finish that off. I really don't want to have to clean that up tomorrow. Um, that stuff, when it sat too long, kind of fouled my water a little bit it'd be good at smaller pieces but yeah I don't know not happy with the five leaf mix everything else is doing fine but yeah the five leaf I think is what fouled my water because my TDS crept up high if it took a TDS test before this and I was still at 206 from my just wait, was that a 206? Or was that when I did my change? Now I'm mixing up the numbers in my head. I was creeping up. I was at 206 before my water change a few days ago. I got it back down to 194. Yeah, I was at 194. So again, I still need to do another water change. I don't like it being quite, oops, sorry, bumped the camera that high. I don't know, I've got 206 in my head still. Um, and I want to make sure it doesn't creep back up, because if it creeps back up, I definitely won't recommend it at all. All the others are fantastic. Um, the Snow Pops isn't as great. and I'm a little concerned with that, because I bought two other Pops. I got the Moringa Pops and Algae Pops, which I will be starting testing tomorrow. I'll start with the Moringa Pops. I'm not going to go too heavy. Just get a couple in on each dish. Not dish, but just spots. So I'm only going to do a couple Moringa Pops in each spot. 
And then the night after I'll do the algae pops. Then I'll have to figure out how I'm going to test the yummy gum. Because that stuff's interesting. Um, you'll see the unboxing videos for those before I do the videos. Um, and then the bio taste. Then I'm going to start comparing them against each other. Compare them against... I don't know. What can I compare them against? I can do the bio taste against the factory E since they're kind of that. And the shrimp fit. Um, I'd like to do another shrimp baby, shrimp king baby, head to head. I might do a bunch more videos coming up, but, uh, yeah, I want to jump right into the Moringa Pops, Algae Pops, Yummy Gum, and Bio Taste over the next few days. So I hope you like this. I'll be back in an hour-ish later tonight before lights out on this, um, just so I can do my last follow-up for the night, and that'll be a short follow-up, just so you can see progress and see how things are looking. So I will be back later. I hope you like this so far. Throw some comments, suggestions. Because, yeah, I'd like to keep doing this. And after I run through those, my mineral junkie, I'm going to start doing some veggies. And, yeah, let's we'll see what else I can find to do. All right, anyways, I'm rambling. Um... I'll be back in an hour-ish to wrap up this video, to wrap up the 5-in-1. I might do another video just to talk about it again. Give a final wrap-up thought, especially after I process all these videos. Still working on processing everything. I haven't even put anything up yet. This is the hilarious part. I've got like close to 40 videos at this point. <laughs> Alright, I'm rambling. Uh, be back in an hour, guys. All right, I'm starting with the lights off on the tank. I forgot to turn them off, so I'm gonna kick it on so we can finish this video. Eh, not much jumping. But, yeah, this is uh, like an hour and a half later, which is why I forgot to turn off the light because it's busy with some other stuff. You can see how many babies I got on the bus. Let me zoom in and give it a little talk. Let's so walk this in. Here's what's going on with the protein. They're finishing that off. I'm not seeing a whole lot left there. I am seeing a decent amount of snow pops right here in the center. And then over here was the complete, and that looks like it's mostly gone. There's one big chunk back there that they're working on. And then over here, they're actually going to town on the five leaf. But I think that's because everything else is gone at this point, and then over here with the mineral there are still some pieces they're working on and it's definitely got a bigger crowd now but I am actually very happy to see that they're chowing down on the five leaf because that one was always a little disappointing but anyways while we're here see all the babies on the glass put them on the glass yeah they're doing good everything in here is looking really nice right now and I get this back up, and let's see if I can get that zoomed in right, tighten down my tripod, there we go. And let me see, just move in and focus more on what we're watching at this point, like I did with my hyperlapse at one point. Do do, sorry, fidgeting, I'm trying to get it. Put him pretty close, there we go, I think that's good. So, yeah, um, again, just to recap, we have protein over here, uh, snow pops here, complete here, five leaf here, and mineral over here on this one. I got the tags in front of me, so I remember, but I know you can't see them with the light behind it. And babies on the glass. Um, I don't know, the babies are always cracking me up, they're just entertaining. But yeah, you can see the tugboating's down pretty minimal. They're really going after the food. The frenzy's done. There's food everywhere after my feeding. Oop! Phone fell out of my pocket. But yeah, they're doing doing fantastic. Excuse me. Sorry, I 
It's uh, 11.30, I'm tired. Last night I was up coming really late. I think I went to sleep like around one or something. But yeah, while I do the time lapse, I go inside and feed the other tanks. Take care of all that stuff. Right now I'm just kind of blathering so you can see the video. Watch the shrimpies. I'm keeping this pretty short though because I am going to wrap things up. Depending on how much they clean up, I might put a day off in between and just do a mixed food throw down and I'll film that of course but I want to make sure all the five leaf is gone before I really start filming uh, additional foods so I'm hoping that gets polished off I mean they're down there they're hungry with any luck that stuff will be gone tomorrow because yeah they're really on it now, I'm wondering if the glass dishes kind of slowed things. It just made it more contained for the video, but it could have been a problem, too. I really don't want to buy more Five Leaf Mix. I haven't been happy with it until, like, right now. Alright, so... Thinking about it. I'll do a recap when I get home from work tomorrow. Give a little five in one opinion. We'll see what's left. That won't count towards my feeding video tomorrow, but I'll talk more about that once I have more info. See, and we'll go from there. Because if there's any left, I'm probably going to pull it out. I don't want it mucking up my water. But everything's looking good. I mean, it's got a lot of attraction right now. Everything's, yeah, everything's looking really good. I'm really happy right now. Maybe the glass feeding dish was kind of dumb. And I'll probably pull these tubes out once I'm done with this showdown, I'm thinking. I might... Might leave it in just to get a couple. I can always put them back in. No, I'm gonna pull them out. So when I clean up tomorrow, I'm gonna pull those out. They're just a distraction from the tank for me. Those, those the glass isn't, it's the suction cups. These freaking milky white suction cups really piss me off. Like what, the one over here on the side, again, you can see it's, you know, milky white suction cup, but it's on the side, it's out of the way. I can wrap some moss around it and it don't look so bad, but here, like when I look in the tank, it's a distraction, it's in the way. Like if I go straight on, I can't see that awesome piece of wood with the plant down in the middle of it. It's just in my way when I sit down and stare at my tank. And there's, one's blocking everything. And it's just the stupid suction cups. Sorry, we'll get back over here. <coughs> Wish they had better suction cups. Anyways, I'm just blathering on the five in one. I'm a lot happier with doing the free feeding. My concern is with the yummy gum, I don't wanna, with how tacky that stuff was, I don't wanna get it in the sand. I gotta, maybe I'll just get a rock ready and put it on a rock and just stick it to a rock or, you know, I'll try sticking it to the glass. Oh man, that's... I'm gonna have to mess with that yummy gum. It's an interesting one. I mean, I could just crumble it up and drop little balls of it in. Uh, uh, Dip my balls in it. Anybody that watched the state in the 90s on MTV would know what I'm talking about with that. Otherwise, you're just like, what? <laughs> what about that Gucci? Yeah, I'm sitting here just watching the shrimp. This is really good. Way better than when I had the dishes in there. Ah, oh, maybe the dishes was just a dumb idea. All right, well, I will wrap this up right now because we're hitting eight minutes. I will come back tomorrow 
once it gets dark, I'll do a recap video and start prepping for tomorrow's feeding. And tomorrow I'll probably just do a bunch of Hikari or something different. Eh, I'll figure it out tomorrow. All right. Thank you for watching this PSA, and I'll do a recap with you guys tomorrow.